Hi, my name is Ken, and this is Let's Code a Mud in C++11, Part 11. Uh, in the last 10 parts, uh, yes, 10 parts, we, uh, we coded up a server uh, that's uh, memory safe, does reading, writing, uh, closes connections, handles errors, that kind of thing. Um, and now at, th at this point, we're ready to actually branch out beyond the server and start thinking about our MUD interface. Um, when we were writing the, uh, the line-oriented connection class, we had this m interface dot handle line function that was it was a stand-in for whatever it is in the mud that's going to read a line at a time um and we didn't we didn't code that interface so now it's time to do that it's time to do that and, and get that going uh so that if i do this instead of just echoing it back out to the user that it works um so let's do that let's do that um so what's that going to look like uh that's got to be a new class uh, we go to we go to the HPP here. It's going to be some sort of new interface class. Let's call it MUD interface. And actually, let's we're going to put it in a whole different component because it's it's not really part of the server anymore. The server is infrastructure code. The server is code that doesn't really care what our application is, what our business logic is. The MUD interface is going to be the part that actually knows that it's a MUD. Um, so that, let's have that live in another component. M interface. Okay. Um, and everything's going to be in the interface, even this little welcome message. So let's get that out of here. Um, so we have to write it. Uh, we actually have to write a new directory uh, for that component logic. Um, let's go into there. Logic uh, mud interface dot HPP. And let's see, let's do our include guards. Mud interface. Define mud interface. And if, and our namespacing, namespace mud, and we're in a new component called logic now. So let's do that. And our class, this is class mud interface. Okay. Um, so what do we know about mud interface? We know it's going to have a void function uh, handle line that takes a string or takes a, a const reference to a string. Um, so that we're gonna have to do. Let's uh, make the CPP file for that. mud interface.cpp include mud interface.hpp. We're gonna use the namespace logic, pull that in. And this is going to be mud interface handle line standard string. Okay, line. So um, basically, this is going to be some sort of stateful class that is going to keep track of, you know, all our mud logic that's associated with this connection. It's going to have a one one relationship with the connection. So this is going to say, you know, are we logged in or not? Uh, what user are we logged in as uh, that kind of thing, in addition to, to actually parsing mud commands. Um, to that end, we're gonna need we're gonna need an interface state. We're gonna need something that tells us what this line is supposed to mean, where we are in the interface. Are we logged in? Are we not logged in? Um, so let's do that. We're gonna have some sort of we'll, we'll use an enum for our state variable, uh, and that actually brings us to a new C++ 11 feature, uh, enum class. So in the uh, bad old days of C++ 11 or C++ 98, sorry, a uh, little slip there. If if I just used an enum, let's say interface state, and let's see, what do I have? What's a, a some blank one for initialization? And then what are we gonna do? We're gonna wait for the user to enter their name, wait for them to enter their password, and then they'll be logged in. Uh, so in the bad old days, uh, when I wrote an enum like this, uh, it it ended up actually having the the same scope as the level above it. So. Uh, new connection was actually polluting the namespace of mud interface or even worse um, if I would do it up here outside of a class it's polluting the entire logic namespace with new connection waiting for user waiting for pass and logged in um, C++ 11 noticed this and added the ability to do this enum class uh, so that basically, from, if, if you do that, it's no longer in scope to say new connection here at this level. You actually have to qualify it as interface state new connection. So it's, it's exactly as if I had a static variable in a class, as if I had some sort of 
static int new connection. Um, and then I'd have to do mud interface colon colon new connection. So if you think of it that way, it's exactly like a class. Well, then it's enum class. Um, so yes, that's convenient. Uh, and you really should use that by default from now on. You really don't want to be polluting your namespace. Yeah, it adds a little bit of typing, but so what? Um, and then we're going to have a member variable for that. So we're going to have the interface state uh, for this, this object. Um, all right, uh, what else? Well, we're also going to want, we're going to want a reference to our connection because um, we, we need a way to, to write out. So we're going to, we're going to get in a line at a time, but we're going to want a way to uh, write back to say, you know, hey, enter your username. Hey, enter your password. Um, so I'm going to do that by having a reference to the connection base. Uh, if we remember, the connection base was actually all we needed to do writing. Uh, the connection base had all the writing logic and the reading logic was handled through the, the super classes. Uh, so all the MUD interface actually needs to know about is the connection base. We're going to want a constructor so we can construct that. Okay. Um, and because we only, we're only taking a reference to it, we actually don't need to pull in the include for... Um, uh, connection base, nor should we, uh, but we're going to do something called forward declaring it, um, which is a similar concept in C++ uh, 98. Uh, it's, it's the exact same thing, actually. So what we're doing is we're declaring the class connection base, and we're just not defining it. We're saying that there is some class in namespace server that's called connection base, um, and since we don't need to know the details of the class to pass a reference around, just, just saying to the compiler that it exists is enough. Now, if we needed a value type of it, or if we needed to call methods on it, or get member variables, then we'd need the whole include file. But this way we save some compile time. We, anyone that pulls in mudinterface.hpp isn't also dependent on connectionbase.hpp. So that's nice. Okay. Um, so we also had the constructor. Let's write that. Mud interface. Um, connection base. So we're just going to initialize the connection, and we're not going to do anything else. Actually, let's do something. Let's let's uh, let's say let's print a welcome message. So we'll say m connection uh, welcome to the mud. Uh, and since we're starting to implement the telnet protocol, we, we're going to make sure we we terminate our our lines correctly. We're going to use uh, carriage return new line, uh, which is the way you're supposed to do it in telnet. Uh, instead of using endl. And this also be slightly more performant because we're not uh, generating a flush every time. Not that that, I think, is going to do anything because this is just a, uh, a string stream under the hood. So I think a flush is probably a no-op on a string stream. But whatever. We got we got to do a carriage return uh, new line, line ending. Uh, so let's do that. And then say enter username. And we'll leave them right there, right after the colon, so they can enter their username. And that means also that the first state we should be in is, see, I have, I've got to type it out every time, waiting for user. Okay. Now, from here on in, when I get a line, the meaning of that line is going to depend on what state I'm in. Uh, so depending on that interface uh, state, I'm going to say first, if I'm waiting, oops, Write it out. Write it out. Interface state waiting for user. Then uh, I'm just going to assume that the line contains their username. I'm not going to do any kind of trimming of white space or anything like that yet. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll say uh, hello uh, username. <laughs> Enter password. Uh, and we'll handle turning echo off in a, in a later part. So for now, we're just going to, you know, don't type in any, any words you wouldn't want to show up on the screen. Um, and then we'll change our interface state to waiting for pass. Break. Now if our state is waiting for pass... 
we're gonna say we're gonna assume the password's correct for now. You know, at some point we're gonna have a user database, uh, and this this mod interface class is gonna have to go out to that uh, database and say, you know, is there a user with this name? Pull out their information. Does the uh, the password match the hash of uh, their password that we have on file? Uh, if so, then they're logged in. Otherwise, kick them back up. Maybe reprompt them for their password or reprompt them for their username. Uh, we could do that kind of thing. But for now, we're going to assume every every step in the process works, and we'll we'll iterate on this. We'll add some refinement uh, every time. Uh, so we'll assume there uh, there that was correct. So we're going to say uh, uh, logged in. And let's give them a prompt. So from here on out, they'll they'll be entering at a at a prompt there like that. Uh, and we'll say that their interface state now is logged in. All right, break. And then for this last one here, interface state logged in. Um, well, we're going to have to do something with that line of text. We're going to have to treat it like a command. For now, let's just echo it back out. Uh, so we'll say, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll echo the, the line back out to them. Um, and then we'll give them another prompt. Uh, but at some point, we'll do something with the line. We'll start treating that as a command. And we'll stay in the logged in state. We're not going to do anything else. Say break. Uh, and that should be it. All right. So let's make sure we're constructing one of these guys correctly in a line oriented connection. Um, because it has an argument now, it needs the connection base. So let's see, m interface. Uh, so how do I get the connection base? It's the base class. Um, so I'm just going to use the this pointer, and it's a, a value type. It's a reference to 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 this. Uh, so I could dereference it. Um, and because con connection base is constructed before interface, I know that this is a valid pointer. I know I know it's okay to do this. Um, and even in some circumstances, if I know it's not going to actually use the this pointer in the constructor, I could get away with uh, if it were a line-oriented connection. But it's not. It's a connection base. Uh, the, the argument for this is a connection base. So I'm, I'm perfectly within my rights to use the this pointer at this point. Um, all right. So all I got to do is add the interface class to the... Um, oh, let's do one more thing. Uh, I want to make sure these lines are going to, because the lines coming in are just like the lines going out. They're going to have um, a carriage return and a new line. And I don't want to print the carriage return out to the, the, the screen. So I want to make sure I strip that out real quick. Uh, we're going to address this in a better way in a future part. Um, but I'm just going to find that carriage return and strip that out. So get line already strips out the new line, but it doesn't strip out the carriage return. So. Uh, let's do that. Otherwise, our, our interface will end up actually being a little garbled, and we want to avoid that. All right. So we go here. We're going to add our logic, uh, mud interface.cpp, and let's try to compile it. Let's see if we got it all right the first time. No, of course we didn't. All right. Uh, let's include it. And we have to include it here. We can't forward declare it because here we actually do need the, the whole class. We're not just taking a reference to it. We're, we're declaring it as a value type. So we need to, for example, know the size of it. We also need to know the, the constructor. So we need the, we can't forward declare. Uh, what else? String. Okay, so just need a little uh, include string. Is that it? Um, oh, yep, because I forward declared it, it, it didn't know that this operator exists, so I gotta go fetch a server connection base. Okay, all right, that works. Uh, so let's run it, and let's connect to it. All right, welcome to the mud under your username. Well, my name is Ken. It says, hello, Ken. Oh, I didn't put a new line there. I'll have to do that. But let's assume I did that. It says, hello, Ken. Enter your password. Password. And now I'm logged in. I can say hi. It says hi back to me. Okay. All right. That's going to be enough for this part. We're going we're gonna to keep working on this in future parts. But until then, uh, my name is Ken, and this is Let's Code Mud in C++11.